So, I went to go see The Age of Adeline. It's directed by Lee Tolan Krieger. He brought us December's End and The Vicious Kind. And it stars Blake Lively and, I'm probably going to mispronounce this, but Mikhail Heisman. Uh, it's Dutch, I think. Now, I know, I'm not typically the target demographic for this sort of film. That being the Nicholas Sparksy kind of romance. But they were taking that sort of story and pairing it with a really neat science fiction idea. Uh, that being someone who can live forever, so the sort of person who generally in stories doesn't attach themselves to people, they, they set themselves apart so they don't see their loved ones grow old and die, the sort of person who, you know, might mess up a couple times over the course of their lives and start to fall in love, right? Um, and then when they mess up the second time, oh hey, they, they meet the person from before 50 years ago, but they're an old man now, and that's in the trailer, so it's not really a spoiler. Uh, but these are interesting ideas, and you could do some really neat things in a story with them. Uh, sadly, Age of Adeline doesn't. It, it doesn't do anything really interesting with them. It's there, it just... It's sort of window dressing. As a romance, this film is appropriately sweet and nice, and Blake Lively's performance is fantastic. I really liked Harrison Ford. I don't think there's a really bad performance in this film. Uh, it's just, well, the romance seems really rushed. They have, like, a couple dates, and that's kind of it over the course of the film. I, I really would have liked to see more build-up of the romance. That would be nice. If you're not going to really, you know, go all in with for the science fiction, at least at least do a romantic plot, right? But but no, they sort of muddle their way through both, and then the science fiction aspect of the film is effectively not there. You you could have traded out the science fiction bit for oh hey she's a workaholic and and had a really bad relationship in the past and so doesn't get close to men, and it'd be the same story. That's, that's, that's all it is. Like, all of the science fiction aspects are explained in, in flashback with narration. So you, you sort of see them briefly, and you're told how important they are, and you're, you're told what's going on in the scene, but it, it doesn't show you what's going on in the scene. It doesn't make you feel any of the emotion that's supposed to be there. And there's some interesting stuff that's being narrated to you. Really interesting stuff, and I would have loved to see more of it in a film. You could have made a film about her life. And it would have been great, but but all we get is this little, kind of like two, three week segment of her life, and and that's that's all there is. There's like the the whole living forever bit, kind of pointless, uh, superfluous to the film. It just you could have tossed it, and it would have still been a sweet, nice little touching romance that was very well acted. Of course, sweet and nice though it may be, I'm not sure it really sells itself as a romance either. The whole romantic thread of the film feels very rushed too. Uh, the film kind of sells itself on the aesthetic and the visuals and the performances, and kind of ignores a lot of the meat of what should be in a story. Uh, it's a little unfortunate, because you could have done such fantastic things just as a whole here, and all we're left with is, well, just kind of an okay film. You know, in the end, it's it's not bad by any stretch. I mean, I don't feel like I wasted my time, but it's nothing really great, nothing that you're going to go and talk about afterwards. It's just kind of there. It's more something that I would uh, encourage you to watch on TV or Netflix than anything else. But that's um, yeah, just me. As I said, I'm not really the primary demographic for the film. So, until next time, folks. Enjoy film. Or, heck, let's kick it up to 11 and, you know... Put in there with Spinal Tap, huh? This is Spinal Tap? Yeah? See what I did there? Eh? Yeah? No? If not, go watch This is Spinal Tap. Right, 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 right now. I'll, I'll wait.